assalamu alaikum students and today we will talk about thallophytes after this lecture a student will understand about the introduction and general features of algae will know about the different forms of algae and also familiar with the importance of algae okay and uh, plants that do not have well differentiated body fall in this group thallophyta is classified into two main subdivision algae and fungi the most primitive types of plants characterized by the possession of a thallus. So what is thallus? It is a Greek word meaning plant body without root, a stem and leaves. And phyton means a plant. Okay. Algae differ from fungi in possessing a chlorophyll. In this lecture, students, uh, we will study about the algae. Okay, and let's discuss about thallophyte. Photosynthetic protists, collectively known as algae, are widely distributed in oceans and lakes. Most species are single cell, chlorella, and the diatoms, but some form multicellular aggregation that are commonly known as seaweed. The single cell algae species are collectively known as phytoplankton, although they are microscopic, but they are very important. Marine phytoplankton account for nearly 70% of all photosynthetic activity on Earth. The plant body of uh, algae is thallus. Uh, thallus being a plant body in which there is no differentiation into true roots, uh, stem, and leaves as found in the higher plants. Uh, they are most primitive and simple plants. Uh, habitat uh, most are aquatic marine and freshwater uh, some are terrestrial live on the land and near moist places require moist requirements and uh, because they lack a waxy cuticle remember students cuticle prevents water loss in terrestrial plants uh, some are epiphytic found on the tree trunk uh, some are epizoic uh, growing on the animal bodies uh, some are parasitic uh, that uh, causes red rust uh, diseases on the uh, tea leaves nature some are free living and some are um, uh, symbiotic and uh, develop symbiotic relationship uh, for example lichen it is uh, actually association between algae and fungus algae usually have a rigid cell wall made up of inner layer of cellulose and outer layer of pectin reproduction vegetative reproduction it is the most common method of reproduction in algae and take place by following means of fission fragmentation adventitious tuber and budding asexual reproduction mostly occur by a variety of motile and non-motile spores uh, sexual reproduction occurs when gametes are fused to form zygote a life cycle of algae consists of alternation of generation uh, so, um, alternation of generation is a type of life cycle found mostly in terrestrial plants and some algae in which subsequent generations of individual alternate okay, between haploid and diploid organisms. Phytoplankton account for nearly 70% of all photosynthetic activity on Earth, absorbing carbon dioxide, recharging atmosphere with oxygen, and supporting web of aquatic life. Okay, and this figure shows that the giant kelp is the largest seaweed reaching heights of more than 100 feet. Ecologists now call this species as a foundation species or ecosystem engineer. Many marine biologists think that algae not only provide a huge forest like environment under sea but also in terms of its tremendous productivity in supplying food for the ecosystem. If you look at the picture of joint kelp, their body consists of whole fast uh, just like a root, stipe and just like a stem and blade just like leaf. There are millions of algae species, but we will focus in these five groups. Diatoms, and dinoflagellates, red algae, brown algae, and green algae. Diatoms are characterized by being unicellular with silica shell. Silica-based wall is called as uh, a 
phrase 2 okay a photosynthesizers found in both fresh and salt water and important to marine food web uh, that have been called as uh, pastures of sea Diatomaceous uh, earth is a powdery substance made from the fossils uh, remain of single cell algae known as diatoms. Diatoms can be used as a disinfect, uh, get rid of pests, and even used by companies to uh, filter everything from pool water used in a toothpaste and metal polish. Some types of dinoflagellates live in freshwater, mostly even in oceans. Many dinoflagellates are bioluminescent, producing blue-green light. Zoocynthelia live within the tissue of corals. Other protests where the algae provides a photosynthetic nutrients. When the water is warm and rich in nutrients, a dinoflagellate explosion may occur, which is called red tides. It is actually um, uh, an event that occurs on the coastline when algae grows out of control. The name red tides comes from the fact that overgrown algae can cause the water to change color and order. Red tides can be hazardous to human health and sea life. Phylum Chlorophyta, also called as a green algae. Green algae are cosmopolitan in distribution uh, because uh, they have a large and diverse group of species. It consists of 7,000 diverse species. Green algae give rise to land plants. Uh, both uh, green algae and land plants have a chlorophyll A and B as well as carotenoids and store food as a starch. Both have walls wall made up of cellulose. Some green algae such as Spirogyra form thin filamentous chain of cell. Olva is a multicellular algae. Clemodomonas is a, a unicellular and the volvos form colony. Phylum Phyophyta is also called as brown algae and there are 1500 species of brown algae mostly marine and include seaweed and cull. All are multicellular and large. Individual algae may grow uh, to a length of 100 meter with a whole face type and blade. As you know that kelp form under a uh, sea forest and that provide food, shelter, breeding areas for marine animals using cosmetic ice cream and sushi. Phylum Redophyta, also called as red algae, uh, there are 4000 species of red algae. The thallus ranges from simpler uh, unicellular to complex multicellular form, smaller than brown algae and are often found at the depth of 200 meter. It contains uh, uh, chlorophyll A and B as well as uh, phycoclin which are important in absorbing light and that can penetrate deep into the water. Some species of red algae deposit calcium carbonate uh, which form limestones that helps in building coral reef of ecosystem. Red algae are red and because of a uh, pigment called phycoerythrin which belongs to the family of uh, pigments uh, known as phycoblins, most abundant in warm coastal water in the tropical oceans uh, but uh, there are some freshwater species. Certain gelatinous uh, substance uh, with the commercial uses including uh, carrageenine uh, which is used in a cosmetic, uh, gelatin, uh, paint, uh, cheese ice cream and agar okay uh, let's uh, discuss about the importance of uh, algae and uh, there are the base of aquatic food change a photosynthetic organism uh, lichen association uh, between algae and fungi is called a lichen also serve as a shelter curb from underground forest uh, red algae form uh, coral reefs some algae are used for extracting antibiotics, uh, some are used in sewage disposal. Uh, Cholerella is used in prolonged space flights for generation of oxygen and food and utilization of carbon dioxide. Algae are used in a number of industries to commercially produce useful end products. These uh, products include algin, uh, carrageenine, iodine, and um, agar. Algae extracts are commonly used in preparing food. Algae are also used as a, 
uh, crop fertilizer as they provide a rich source of nutrient and organic matter. Algae can also be used in wastewater treatment as they metabolize and break down the base substance. Okay, algae are among the most photosynthetically efficient plant on earth. Algae is uh, easy to grow. The annual productivity and oil content of algae is far greater than seed crops. For example, soybean can only produce about 450 liter of oil per hectare, whereas canola can uh, produce 1200 liter per hectare and palm can produce 6 1000 uh, liter uh, per hectare algae on the other hand can yield a 90,000 liter uh, per hectare uh, so algae can grow anywhere there is enough uh, sunshine and some can grow in saline water okay and students some algae are harmful uh, they causes algae bloom so what is blooms a uh, bloom are dense accumulation of algae excessive growth of algae gives bad odor and taste to water this excessive growth result in algae bloom um, it can also uh, be toxic uh, to animals red tide caused by dinoflagellates and uh, students in next slide i will show you one video this video tells about the toxin production of algae uh, that can be stimulated by environmental factors uh, such as uh, light, high temperature and neutral level. When algae toxin are releases into the surrounding water, it can be seriously harm people, animal, uh, fishes and other part of ecosystem. So let's watch this video. When faced with a carpet of green algae, what is the best thing to do? Well, swim regardless if you're going by these people in China. Tourists in Qingdao, undeterred by the algal bloom, some even carrying out large handfuls. Well, not everyone. The algae first started appearing in the middle of June, and reports say it spread along the coast from Jiangsu province to Shandong Peninsula. Workers have been brought in to try and shift as much of the stuff as possible. The good news is that it can be dried and used as fertilizer. The bad news, you're going to be swimming around in it for the next few weeks. Okay, this is all about the LG. Uh, hope students you understood. If you have any question, we will discuss it in our question answer session. Thank you.